It appears to be a full moon night when Max and Laura are driving on a lonely road. It is dark all around as no one is there to accompany them. Laura suddenly stops the music when Max asks about it, she says that she did this because she thought that they are lost. But as they talk, it becomes evident that they are excited about the summer camp experience. They try to use a map but do not get any clue about it or signs. As they are looking at the map suddenly Max saw something midway down the road. He tries to avoid hitting that thing and because of that their car jumps into the wood but luckily they remained unhurt. As they catch their breath they get confused that whether it was a bear or a person. They try to fix the car by themselves and during this Laura finds out some documents which say about Max's rejection. But as they will not be able to fix the car Laura decides to look in the woods so that she can find some help. On her way, she finds out the belongings of someone which is weird that someone lives in this abandoned place. As Laura gets back to Max she seems terrified they decide to get back in the car meanwhile a man named Travis came there. Travis introduced himself as a cop and helps them to get back on the road. Upon reaching on road they told Travis that they are heading towards the summer camp and unfortunately all this happened. After passing through all this they finally reached the camp but Max seems disappointed as he thought nobody is there except them. Laura reads a signboard saying what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. They search nearby areas to look for something or somebody. Laura saw someone in the bunker and calls Max for help but as he reaches he finds no one there. They decide to get inside the bunker, and as they reach downstairs something attacked Max leaving him severely injured. Laura tries to pull him above the stairs but fails and he falls, at the same time Travis came and injects something into Laura's neck which makes her unconscious. The next day Jacob, Emma, Caitlin, and others see off the kids from the summer camp. Jacob looks around and tries to find something interesting. He tries to talk with Nick but he tells that he is busy so he again starts roaming here and there. While he looks around he finds that the stairs are closed which according to Nick might be to keep away raccoons and all other kinds of animals. While Jacob, Nick, Dylan, and Caitlin are arguing about their relationships and breakups in school Abigail is sketching a beautiful girl by sitting at Sunkiss stairs. Emma reaches towards her and asks her for bags which are locked inside their room. They somehow manage to break the door and get there so that they can leave this place. But before leaving they decide to take a round of woods. But as they reach back to camp so that they can get out of this place they find out that the jeep gets fire. Now they all are struck here in these woods. But before leaving their camp Mr. Chris told Ryan that he must keep everyone inside as night approaches, he also advised him to lock the room properly. He promised that he will get back with the first light of the next day to take all of them. He seems very concerned for their safety but he can't do anything. After saying he left the place. Ryan tries his best to stop them from going out but they seem to be excited to explore the place. Jacob plans a party for them. But as they are busy doing their things, Jedediah keeps an eye on their activities. He pours out blood from his bottle and applies it on his face. Bobby is also there along with him. This place seems to have many secrets in it as Emma finds a map along with a weird mask. She grabs that mask and tries to scare Jacob. They also find many weird tools in the supply room. However Emma is curious about the vault present in the room, finally, she opens it and finds fireworks there. On the other side everyone is gathering things for the night party meanwhile Dylan receives a weird call saying nothing but just murmurs. As they explore this place Dylan and Ryan also find not only guns but a secret monitoring room. They seem to be surprised by the secrets of this place. While Nick and Abigail wander in the woods they are trying to understand each other but they don't know that somebody is keeping an eye on them. They also face an attack by a wild animal. After passing all this they all gathered at the camp to enjoy the night. They burned fire exactly opposite as per instructions of Mr. Chris. By sitting around the fire they decide to play truth and dare as it might be their last night together. But all this turned into an awkward situation after Emma kisses Nick during a dare. To avoid the situation created there, many people leave the fireplace. Abigail went into the woods Nick followed her to comfort her but they are attacked by a creature that is so fast that they cannot even look at it. This accident leaves Nick severely injured. Abigail tries to flee from there, she runs as fast as she could but that monster creature followed her. Somehow luckily she manages to escape. On the other Jacob starts noticing missing persons from this place. He finds out that during the last four months, many people are missing during hiking from this place. While Abigail reaches back to the fireplace and asks for help for Nick, Ryan runs to the woods so that he can help Nick. But when Ryan reaches Nick he saw Bobby trying to grab him, he fired at Bobby so that he can save his friend. As Bobby left after the shoot Ryan takes Nick back to camp. Meanwhile, Bobby also tries to capture Jacob but he fails to do so. After all this, they all gathered in one place and decides what to do next. Ryan decides that they must all stick together in one place inside as per instructions. But Nick seems to be getting infected due to the bite of an unknown entity. 
they put him in a comfortable place so that they can stop the infection from spreading further. While Nick and Abigail are taken inside a camp Bobby attacks them but Nick confronts him with amazing power as he feels extremely powerful. They all seem shocked about this happening. On the other side, Ryan and Dylan try to establish contact through the radio so that they might get any help from outside but it seems to be of no use. However, Dylan also gets attacked by that unknown creature. Now the situation gets tense and they all are in a panic. While they are all together Jacob is still trying to find Emma. But as they reunite they are attacked by that unknown creature. Jacob runs to save his life but he is stuck in a trap. On the other side when they all are gathered at the pool to figure out about the body they have seen in the pool Nick falls in the pool. They all are astonished that how cold he felt after falling into normal water. They are all confused about things that are going on all around them. They try to comfort him by putting him in front of the fire but Abigail notices changes in his behavior and suddenly he attacks her with all his strength. In return, Abigail fired a bullet at Nick but after this, he gets transformed into a beast and runs away from that place. Abigail feels guilty about her action but they all told her that what she did was right. While they are talking a woman knocks at their door. She claims to be Laura. She told them that she came here two months earlier one night before joining her duty but that was her biggest mistake in life. As Travis, the cop has captured them and put them in jail. She also told them about weird writing on the walls and what Travis has done to them. As per Laura's point of view werewolves live here in these woods, nobody wants to believe her but it seems to be true. Although Ryan seems offended about what Laura is saying she told that if they want answers they have to listen to her. She told them that after capturing them, Travis puts them in isolation however she and Max talks a lot about the accident and other stuff but they cannot meet with each other. Travis feeds them well but they do not know about his intentions. But when one day Laura asks Travis what exactly he wants from them, he puts her in front of Max. Laura is confused about this but at night Max converts into a werewolf and attacked her. In this attack, she loses one eye. Now she knows all the reality, however, she chooses not to leave Max in this state. Laura told Travis that she wants to help him, and he told her that they both will end all this soon as his beloved family is involved in this. Now Laura is again confused that how his family is involved in all this. Travis handed her a paper in which she read that to kill this creature one must use silver at full moon night and one gets infection only through a bite, not by starch. Luckily she heard Travis while talking with another guy who is Chris Hackett and get to know that Chris Hackett is the actual werewolf. So to fix Max's problem they have to kill Chris Hackett as his brother Travis is only trying to protect him. The next day they plan to get out of that place. They are happy to leave this place but before that, they have to kill Chris with a silver bullet. That's how she made her way here to this camp and leave Max on an island. This is all her story, but Ryan and Dylan seem to be shocked after listening to her story and also show their concern about Jacob as he has not come back yet from the island. Laura tries to kill a werewolf but she doubts that it was a Chris Hackett. She told Ryan that they don't left with much time now. Constance, an old lady appears, and she puts the werewolf behind electric bars. Bobby also took Jacob there. Jacob cries for help but no one listens to him. On the other side, Laura gathers everyone for the final battle as it's not a ghost story. It's a real creature feature and they all are its part. They succeed in killing Kaylee but as Constance listens to this she gets crazy as she is her only granddaughter but nobody can do anything now. She told Travis that he is not a good boy as he fails in taking care of his family. During all this she catches Laura but in a fight Laura kills Constance. Now the whole family is disturbed as now they will not protect each other. After fighting many dangers Laura and Ryan finally kill Chris Hackett but in meantime, Travis told them that all this is not over yet as Chris was not the first one. Celeb was the first one and Silas bites Celeb, he was the gypsy transient. Travis asks them for help to kill Silas so that he can save Celeb. Travis, Laura, and Ryan locate the werewolf Silas in the woods and killed him. After all this, a mysterious woman named Eliza appears at the end and she said that she would never forget the death of Silas, she would certainly revenge it. After all this, they leave this place once and for all. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.